Hey everybody, uh, today's video is going to be something a little bit different. Um, instead of doing a great recent crossword puzzle, I'm going to do an old New York Times crossword puzzle. Um, the site expertinfo.com uh, has all of the puzzles from before Will Shorts taking over as editor of the New York Times crossword, which was sometime in the early 90s. Um, if you want stuff during Will Shorts's era, that's all in the official app that you can get. But uh, I mentioned this before, David Steinberg, I want to say like in high school, uh, started a project to collect all of the older puzzles, like go through old newspaper archives. Uh, he got help from a lot of people who had different access levels, you know, through the libraries or whatever. And I think the collection is complete. There, there might still be some holes, but um, Expert Info now not only has stats for all of the Shortsian puzzles, but now all of the pre-Shorts puzzles. Uh, you can play those, or you can actually solve those crosswords on the site, but I a few years back scraped all of the crosswords and have them in puzz format. And the reason this is interesting is that crosswords have changed a lot. Um, just in the past 10 or 20 years, crosswords have changed a lot. Like if you do have a New York Times subscription and you do a puzzle now versus a puzzle like from the 90s, I mean there's obviously like the pop culture has changed, um, you know, people who were relevant 20 years ago may not still be relevant today, but um, I feel like these old puzzles are even more difficult than that. Not just the pop culture, but like the short words, the trivia type words that you're expected to know are a lot more difficult. And maybe if I've done a bunch of these, I would learn those words, but um, I don't do a lot of these. I think I've only sat down and seriously solved a handful of them. Um, so the one I pulled for today is um, from October 11th, just like today, uh, but it's from 1958. And I made sure to pick a Monday crossword um, because I don't know how hard this will be. And actually, I'm not sure when the difficulty levels started for the New York Times. I don't actually know if in this era, Mondays were easy, Fridays, Saturdays were hard. Um, this goes back to the original editor, editor of the New York Times crossword, Margaret Farrar. I believe she was editor till the mid to late 1960s. But, um, yeah, this is this is old here. So we'll see how I do. I may need some help with some of the old crossword D's type stuff, but let's see. Um, Sanor's emphatic ascent. So this might be s like Spanish. I might just not have the tilde. Uh, pass through a sieve. Um, island in Spanish. Isla. Shampoo preparation. Your house is on fire. Um, maybe CC for uh, Senor's emphatic ascent. That's still a word that's used today. Uh, sift is passed through a sieve. Needlewoman on a special job. Okay. I don't know. I, I assume this is a themed crossword, but I again, I, I don't know a ton about the history of what times crosswords used to look like. I'm learning along with you. Is this just soap, a shampoo preparation? Part of a plant, maybe a tap root. Unruly crowd is a mob. Competent, able. Thankless one, ingrate. Um, is this like a flag mender, flag maker? Patois of Louisiana, that's Creole. Uh, thorough. Uh, let's see. Blank bell, ring a bell. That's considered colloquial, I guess. Uh, finish, finish, end? Is this flag mender? Could be. 21 plus, is that an age? Um, part of a door firm, is that like a lintel? Uh, linten? Actually, I don't know. Thorough, is that clear, clean? Producing insensibility. Okay. Seasoning ingredient. French line flanked in 1940. Is that the Maginot line? Spice from nutmegs. Mace. Tel Aviv. Language of the Caucasus. Um, teller's compartment. Colette novel, 
So GG? Cage, maybe? Great Goddess. Okay, Chives might be the... Is this Eris? Avar is the language of the Caucasus? I... Again, maybe this is just common crossword ease from back then. I, I'm not familiar with that, or I could, I could just be wrong. I could have a mistake here. Um, manana, perhaps? I assume that's the Spanish. Um, maybe this is narcotic, and it's clean as thorough. Mourn? Uh, type that right. Nope. Not going to be HR. Um, Lentel Electrodes, quaintly amusing. French, okay. Fisherman, maybe an Ealer. Alliance, political and oriental. Palm leaf. Found a new tenant, Roulette. Mad Emperor, Nero, probably. Quaintly amusing. Mm -hmm. Blank County, but capitalizing quotes, so it's a title from something. Cliff. Where away must be a road. Let's try this side. Maybe tact for diplomacy. British dandies slang. Roman rooms. Those are gore. No, probably not a gore. I think those are marketplaces. Uh, amulet. Uh, title in a religious order. Mm -mm. Compel. Another dandies? Yeah. I assume it ends in an S though. Logs. Pioneer labor leader. Um, uh, but, 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 is this Sam Gompers? And this is Egality? What are the three words? Egality, fraternity, and something? A lot of foreign language, French stuff and Spanish stuff. Okay, shoestring catch, for example. Is that like a feat and carry on the breezes waft? English River, Tyne? Submit, obey. Um. Algerian seaport. <laughs> oh no. Um, warm fabric. Woolen? I mean wool, but... Okay, propose for office. Nominate. Maybe this is woolen. I have no idea what this would be. Oman's a country. Was it a country back then? Oran? Shelter. Don't know French. Okay. Outer covering, outer covering for a bank truck? Is that some kind of armor? Greek letters. Uh, like Muse or Muse? Oh, if it's Muse, it's probably armor. Bowl. Heroine of a, an 1884 novel. Oof. Abounding in certain fishes. Cries of triumph, so maybe ahas. <laughs> Is this sharky? <laughs> no, that can't be right. Um, like endeavor essay? Essay? No, I... Common carriers. Railroads, maybe. Truck? I don't know what 
Bowl means B-O-L-E. Trunk, maybe. Ramona? I don't know. Archaic imprecation? I don't even know that word. Peak. Maybe armor plate, and this is an alp? Stores as fodder. Maybe in silos. Pa another French word. Pa. Uh, heroine of German legend. No. Buyer's opportunity. Maybe a sale. City near Kyoto. Man's name. Oh, great. Okay, that helps. Arca imprecation. I know what deprecation means. What does imprecation mean? Well, this is a corner that I may not get out of without some help. Do I know any other Japanese cities other than Tokyo and Kyoto? Oh, Little Jack Horner. Okay. Okay, Blank County. Quainly, I'm using French, palm leaf. Alliance, political and oriental. like rain something county compel me this is in force oh soon manana okay scar is that a cliff okay, dandies would be fobs logs Girl's name. What name fits there? <laughs> See what I meant when I talked about just everything is difficult here. Um, compel might be in force. Darned. Is it like darning a sock or is it like that darned cat? Amulet? Okay, charm. Twits? No. Maybe this is like FRA? Fra? Atria are rooms? Firewood. Okay. Toffs? Other, maybe. Read Wove? Is that a girl's name? Avis? I guess. Still don't know that, and that's just going to be a guess. This corner's probably going to be a guess. Heron of German legend? No. Pa something don't know french palm leaf rain no quaintly amusing okay so i'm going to check to see if i have anything wrong let's start there one okay it's not in silos in Siles? And is Elsa? <laughs> the, the heroine of German legend was frozen based on a German folktale? Um, doesn't help me with 
Well, let me just check if that's correct before I... Yeah, that was correct. Okay. That's funny. Um, does not help me with the city near Kyoto. Man's name. Okay, let's let's reveal what this archaic imprecation is. Malice Sun. Okay. Oh, city near. Nope. Is this Neil for the man's name? And then Pa. Uh, so I, uh, yeah, that's what it was. Okay. I do not know French. Um, okay, quaintly amusing. French, again. Um, is that droll but spelled weird? Raintree County? Is that? Sito? That was all correct, too. Okay, palm leaf is Ola. Quaintly amusing, droll, but with an E instead of an L at the end. Raintree County and Sito. I, I feel like this has come up in more modern crosswords. Um, that just leaves this down here. Algerian Seaport, Shelter. I'm going to guess Oran and Aubrey. That's correct. Okay. Yeah, this was a Monday. Um, <laughs> like I said, I might make this a weekly thing. Uh, maybe my Friday puzzle will be this. Um, yeah, next week I might try something, maybe a Wednesday, Thursday difficulty. But, oof, yeah. Um, was there a theme? I don't think there was a theme in this. Um, Flagmender, Electrodes, Sam Gompers, Armor Plate. If there was one, it wasn't clear to me. But um, Okay, um, again, uh, other than Fridays, I guess I'll, I'll go back to just doing great crosswords. Um, all right, if you enjoyed this, uh, check out some of my other videos. Thank you for watching.